It's March. There's madness. And it's not just on the court. Our Lemons, Pfizer, and Gretzky aren't making the playoffs this year. Uh, good three wide racing. It's madness. Am I right, Vancouver? So March Madness is already in full swing, and there's already been a few upsets. Now, I just finished watching Kansas demolish UNC, but Kansas did not look good in the first half. They were down by as many as 11, and down by 9 at the half, but in the second half, they took over. Kansas also did not look very good in their win against Western Kentucky, but they sneaked out a 64-57 win. And in March Madness, it's not about how close you win the games, it's the fact that you win the games. Most from this win against the Tar Heels, Jeff Withy had five huge blocks, and Ben McElmore, I'm gonna pop some tags. Their leading score in the regular season was ice cold. He was cold in the first game against Western Kentucky, and he went 0 of 9 tonight. Now speaking of not mattering how close the games are, but winning the games, Ohio State against Iowa State today. A very close game. Iowa State held with Ohio State the whole way through, but in the dying seconds, Aaron Kraft hit a clutch, buzzer-beating three-pointer to win the game for the Buckeyes. Very exciting so far, and Ohio State looks to be one of the favorites to win the tournament. Now, if Iowa State pulled that off, that would have been a huge upset. Now, speaking of upsets that did happen, we had Wichita State. They took down Pitt, and just the other night, the Shockers shocked the number one Gonzaga team filled with Canadians Kevin Pangos and Kelly Olenek. So with the win, it sends Wichita State to the Sweet 16 for the first time since 2006. Now this Shockers team looked very good against Gonzaga, and of course looked very good against Pitt. We'll see how far they can go with this run, if they could be maybe like Butler from a few years ago, make it all the way to the finals. Another team that got out a lot earlier than expected is the Georgetown Hoyas. Many thought they would go very far in this tournament. Some people in my pool picked them to win, but they were eliminated in the first round, the round of 64, by Florida Gulf Coast. Now, Georgetown does not have a particularly good record in March Madness, but this is a game that basically all experts had them winning. And for them to be number two seed, this is very disappointing to have such an early exit. But the madness does not stop on the court. Today on the racetrack, huge drama, huge madness occurred in the Auto Club 400 at California Speedway. Now in last week's video I mentioned the growing tension between former teammates Denny Hamlin and Joey Logano. Last week they got in a minor fight. This week, with Logano leading and Hamlin closing fast in turn 3 on the final lap, Hamlin left plenty of room as he was going to pass Logano, but Logano clearly still fuming from last week moved up the track into Hamlin, took them both out, and gave the win to Kyle Busch, who dominated the whole way through, as well as winning the nationwide race yesterday. Hamlin ended up hardened to the fence, an area that did not have safer barriers, and he was taken to hospital with what seemed to be potentially a head or neck injury. After the race, Logano also got into a fight with Tony Stewart. On the final restart, Tony Stewart, with a lot of momentum, drove down onto the bottom to make his move on Joey Logano for the lead. Joey Logano tried to protect the lead, blocked Tony Stewart, killing all momentum for Tony Stewart, sending him boy back, and allowing Logano and Hanlon to race for the win. Now, if Logano is trying to make a name for himself, I know he's already been in the sport for four years, but if he's trying to prove something, he's doing it wrong. He's making a lot more enemies with people who he probably shouldn't be making enemies with. And for the rest of the season, and maybe more, Drivers are going to take exception to this, and they're going to race Lugano a lot harder and a lot less clean if he's going to continue to race like this. I'm not saying the move on Tony Stewart was reckless, but it did make him angry. And the move on Denny Hamlin two straight weeks, he's starting to build some enemies. And for a young driver in the sport, that's the last thing you need. So the Madness will continue in college basketball in the big dance. Meanwhile, the boys in Sprint Cup have a week off before heading to Martinsville, a place where you always see drivers settle their feuds. This is going to be an exciting couple of weeks.